Uh, here we go. Let's play E4. St. Mark. And we get a Sicilian. And I'm going to play with the open Sicilian. Not the Rosalimo like they do at the World Championship game. Okay, the two knights. Uh, what is this? As a way of getting into the Sveshnikov, I guess. Or the uh, this is a uh, accelerated dragon at this point, I guess. So I can defend the knight. He can attack it. I could just play uh, f3 here, I think. My knight is not yet under attack. Ah, this move order stopped me from getting a um, Roxy Bind set up against the Accelerated Dragon. That is true. So this is uh, more like a classical dragon. And I will play accordingly. I'm going to castle queenside. And I'm going to start start pushing those pawns forward. I haven't quite decided what to do with the light squared bishop. Okay, he trades off the knight, or yeah, the knight on the d4. And uh, he brings his bishop out to a good square. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to uh, move my king to a slightly better location. It allows me to bring a rook to um, c1 if necessary to defend here. Um, <clears throat> what else is going on? I think I can continue with the uh, pawn storm. And he stops this. Okay, so he's playing this uh, very classically. Um, Yeah, if he hadn't traded the knights, the move bishop to uh, g5, I believe, is played in this position. Let's see. I can take. He can take with the knight. You know, that probably helps him. I can push and then force the knight away, but um, but then this king side is closed up. Not at all clear. Um, so let's bring the uh, bishop out at this point. Hmm, yeah, I can't get it out to the this diagonal. This diagonal is kind of interesting. He's weakened the, the g-pawn there a bit. Um, it does leave this bishop loose here. Okay, so I'm gonna route route this knight around. Knight to um, well, knight to f4 allows bishop to h6, pinning the knight. Uh, then I could drop the bishop back to unpin. Might be okay. It's a pretty interesting position, and not, not one I get into that often. Not so many people play the uh, dragon variation anymore, because white usually has quite a quite a simple attack. Yeah, knight to f4 actually hits this bishop with an attack on the queen, so if he pins it, I can take the bishop. He takes the queen, I take the queen, and my knight is hanging, his bishop is hanging, but I'm a piece up. So let's go for that. See what he wants to do with his bishop. And if he just uh, moves the bishop, I'm certainly going to take it if he leaves it there. If he moves it, I'm going to uh, take on h5 with the pawn. Then he could pin my knight, I guess. Okay, so we went there. Ah, uh, here's the problem. Here is the problem with h. 
with pawn takes. Uh, he could take back with a knight defending his bishop and attacking my knight. Oh, my knight's defended. Let's, um, my, my bishop was loose. Let's take here first so that more, more, more of my pieces are defended. <laughs> okay, so now pawn takes pawn. Uh, he takes with the knight. My bishop is defended, so I can just take back his knight. He can trade bishops and then take back. And I've opened up a file towards his king. So start with this move. That's the plan. He plays the fork. Oh, I didn't see that. I did not see that. So let's uh, keep going. takes one of my pieces. Yeah, I can take here with check. And, uh, and I've got open lines against his pieces here. So let's, uh, let's bring a rick over. Or should I grab this pawn? Or should I put the knight in here? <clears throat> Let's start with bringing a rook over, I guess. There's a threat of knight to um, d6. Seems pretty severe. Or, well, there he can take the knight. So if he does something about knight d6, then maybe I'll take. I'll take here, and then there's no discovered attack on my queen because the bishop is pinned. So still an interesting position. Peace down, but uh, his king is all exposed, and I did get a bunch of pawns, so... Um, okay, so that I am just going to uh, take here because my queen was under fire. I had to do something. Now this threat of knight to uh, d3 is on again. Knight d6 rather. Knight e6. Knight e6. And uh, I wonder about knight h5. Knight takes. Okay. <laughs> well, knight h5, knight takes. You know, I can take the uh, bishop, but he can take back. So this one. I mean, he has the check with the rook. I will just uh, move my king. Not sure which way is best, but uh, I didn't see that I was getting mated here. And he's got some serious problems here. Okay, so now his uh, his knight is potentially loose. So say if I play knight takes, uh, his queen maybe comes over here threatening mate, I take the queen. So mm -hmm. knight takes, rook takes, I take the knight. Is there something better? Now this threatens, well, he has, I guess, let's see. Um, yeah, if he goes um, queen to a5 to threaten mate on me. So I, I just want to show this. If his queen comes here to threaten the mate here and my queen is here, I can take his rook with check and then mate him. So, so my mate is faster than his mate. If he trades out, then I take back with check. I should still be okay.
And uh, if all the pieces come off, I'm up a couple pawns, although my king is in a weird position. <laughs> so maybe I don't want that. Um, oh, he goes there with check. Okay. Let's think about this. So if I take, his queen comes in with check. I go here, his queen comes in with check. Go here, his queen goes there, check. I go here, his queen goes here, check. I go here. And he can maybe take here. Get a rook back. Let's see. If I try to avoid the checks, though, I go here, queen comes in with check anyway. I go here, the queen comes here with check. So I guess I have to take. Eh, pretty interesting tactic. Okay, well, at least this part is forced, so I don't have to uh, calculate much here. And uh, let's see. Yeah, if I go to the corner, he mates me, so this is forced as well. Okay, well, I'm expecting queen b2 check. I don't see anything else here. His rook is pinned. <laughs> if he exchanges first, I take back with a check. So, um, and that leads to a mate. So, I think um, his only move is queen b2 check. Yeah, there it is. And then he checks on the back rank, which drives my king to e2. And he can take here with check. I could keep running. wonder if he's just going to go for a perpetual. Or the other way to play it is check on the back rank. Oh, he goes there first. Ah, oh, but this is a mistake, right? Because I take back with check. Yeah. So definitely he had, to, he had to check me again. Anyway, uh, interesting game. I guess I will uh, upload this one and we can check it out in the postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.